Let us pray. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable to you, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Our 21st century lives are filled with astonishing technology. Uh, we carry it around with us most of the time. Uh, it's a blessing and it makes our lives a whole lot easier. But a downside is it means we are always connected. We are always connected to work, to the news, to the outside world. And that's a lot of stuff competing with our attention all the time, 24-7. Many of us stay so busy with work and family and just living life that we fail to notice God's presence. Even if we aren't that busy, we can still be spending our time binge watching the most recent show on Netflix, uh, really focusing on getting in shape or spending time with family and friends uh, or all the things that life tends to throw at us. So if we don't notice God and aren't aware of the divine presence, how can we have a relationship with the Lord? Now, for the last few weeks, Becky's been doing a sermon series about wisdom and was encouraging us to get our wisdom from God. And a few weeks ago, she talked about how God's fingerprints are visible all over creation and that we can learn a whole lot by observing animals. She mentioned that when we stop and notice what's around us, that beauty of creation, we can't help but feel a sense of awe at what God has created and, and appreciate it and give thanks for it. Now, it can be actually hard to stop and notice what God's doing when we are always connected and always on the go. So in order to fully notice and appreciate who God is and what God has done, we all really need to slow down and rest. Take a Sabbath. Sabbath in Hebrew literally means to rest. And it's very important to God. In the creation story in Genesis, we learn that God created the universe and everything in it. And then God rested. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Now, in this story, which we didn't read all of, uh, we find that at the very beginning, God spoke creation into being. And each thing that God created, God called good. But only the Sabbath, the day of rest, did God call holy. So at the very beginning, God showed us that rest, the Sabbath, is important. In addition, God showed us that there is a work-rest rhythm to life and that life is better when we do both work and rest. Um, and using that time of rest to stay connected with the divine is holy, even though it doesn't always seem like we're doing anything. Now that's counter to what many of us think, or I can't speak for y'all, but it's counter to what I think. Um, our society leads us to believe that we must do things. We must be productive. We must accomplish stuff in order to have worth. Thus, I tend to want to do stuff for God, to accomplish things for God. And I find it sometimes hard to believe that God is interested in me just being still and being with God. That God is interested in having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with me. Now, maybe you have a hard time with this concept, too. 
Um, but it's very biblical. God wants a relationship with us. Uh, for instance, in Hosea 6.6, 6, God says, I want to show you love. Excuse me, let me read it right. I want you to show love, not offer sacrifices. I want you to know me more than I want burnt offerings. So God considers our relationship more important than our actions. God wants our time spent with the Lord. God never wants us just to act. The thing God's most interested in is a relationship with us. And once we have that kind of relationship, our actions will follow. But the only way to have a relationship with anyone is to spend time with them. And God is no different. So by taking Sabbath, we stop from all of our busyness, from all of our labors, from all of our connectedness, and just spend time with God. And in doing this, we try to be fully present in the moment and notice what's going on around us. And when we do, we will notice that God is all around us and God's presence is evident. So by spending our time this way, in Sabbath, in rest, we are prioritizing our, this essential relationship. When we take time to shift our focus to the divine, we are able to notice and appreciate who God is and what God is doing. Now God put such a priority on the Sabbath that not only did God model it for us at creation, but also made it one of the Ten Commandments. When the Hebrew people were at the foot of Mount Sinai, after God had liberated them from slavery in Egypt, God wanted to make sure that they remembered that they were free. They no longer had Egyptian taskmasters literally cracking whips over them to make them work and keep them busy. They, they had a God-given chance to rest. But the thing is, constant work was ingrained in them after generations of being slaves. So it was hard for them to think about not doing anything, not working. So God, with this commandment about the Sabbath, encouraged them to take advantage of their freedom. So a Sabbath rest, a Sabbath reminds us that God wants us to rest and cares about us, cares about our well-being. Sabbath is God's way of asking us to prioritize our relationship with the divine by slowing down, taking a breath, and noticing God's presence around us. When we intentionally unplug and disconnect from all the things that vie for our attention, we are able to really see what's around us. We can literally stop and smell the roses, or we can notice the changing fall colors and marvel at the variety that we get with the seasons. We can also focus our time and our attention on those closest to us um, instead of on our phones and computers. So as long as we are willing to unplug and take a break from everyday activities, I believe that any time and can be a Sabbath. Yeah, it's great to have a particular day of the week or to take off or even maybe a whole week of vacation but not everybody can do that. However, we can all take what I call a mini Sabbath at any time. Stopping for a break at our desk, taking a deep breath, and just being thankful for our job, for the beautiful fall weather, um, that we have food in the refrigerator. It can be a type of Sabbath because it brings us into the moment and causes us to slow down. And when we take that Sabbath, 
we have time to notice the divine around us. As we spend unplugged time in nature, with our family and friends, or just in peaceful solitude, we are able to see God's hand at work around us. When we truly notice the beauty of creation, we can't help but be awed and worship the one who created it. And as we become aware of God around us, we see how God is active in our lives. It's just like anything else. When you start paying attention, you see more of it. This awareness that God is with us makes our faith stronger, and it affects the way we live. When we see God with us all the time, we recognize that divine presence in nature and in the people around us and in scripture, then our relationship with God is strengthened because we see God's presence. And as our relationship with God deepens, we are able to trust God when times are bad. Taking a Sabbath isn't about doing anything in particular, no matter how much people throughout the ages have tried to prescribe exactly what can and can't be done on a Sabbath. But Sabbath in its truest sense is about slowing down enough to recognize that we are in the presence of the divine and stopping to worship that divinity. Sabbath gives us the ability to notice the holy moments in our lives. And I have found these holy moments are plentiful if I just pay attention. Um, I've been doing a lot of hiking recently. Um, my best friend and I go out a couple times a month and do a hike. And I have learned from her a new Sabbath practice. It's called forest bathing. It actually has some Japanese name, but I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but at some point in our hike, we stop. We find a place to sit down, and we just focus on the moment. Um, typically, I sit with my eyes closed for a little while, and I can hear all the things that maybe I didn't hear when I was walking. I can notice any smells that are there, like decaying leaves. Um, and I can feel the breeze or whatever else is going on. And then I'll open my eyes and really look around and notice small things that I hadn't been noticing when I was moving and when I wasn't taking that time. These pauses in, the, in a hike or in everyday life give us time to appreciate the beauty around us and thank the one who created a world with such diversity. These are holy moments and they make God feel so much closer and make us feel closer to God. Now I know it's daunting to think about carving out time to rest, time for a Sabbath. It seems like just adding one more thing to our never-ending to-do lists. So for a lot of us, Sabbath feels impossible. But when we get away from thinking that we have to have some kind of standard Sabbath or a whole day, we can all find the time to take those many Sabbaths. Now, our Sabbath can be appreciating the butterfly that flies past your window. It could be taking a walk at lunch and breathing in the fresh air or doing yoga, taking a drive to just look at what's around you. It can be stepping away from our phones or our computers for just 15 minutes to go outside and enjoy the sunshine or the moon and the stars. There are infinite number of ways that we can celebrate Sabbath, that we can rest. Um, and, and when we do that, we are able to unplug and marvel 
at what God creates. And as we marvel at those things, we can't help but give thanks and worship the Creator. So I urge you to take a Sabbath. Accept the gift of rest that God has given us and wants us to have. Love yourself and God enough to take some time for rest and communion with the divine, whether it's a whole day or just a few minutes. Take some time to notice the presence of God in nature, in your family, or just in the miracle that is your body. Make room for these holy moments, for encountering the divine, and for worshiping the God who cares enough to encourage us to rest. Thanks be to God.